Out of every Archer Commander I've invested in in Rise of Kingdoms, the one that the most heads turn for is Cyrus the Great. I've had many questions about him, and so today I'll be making an in-depth guide on Cyrus. I'll go over talent, skills, pairs, and equipment, and really, if you have a Cyrus or are considering investing in Cyrus, make sure you watch until the end to get the most value from this video. Okay everybody, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I upload daily Rise of Kingdoms Archer content, and I also cover everything to do with Rise of Kingdoms. So if you're interested in that type of content, or if you want to see more content like mine, then just push the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. You can turn it off anytime if you decide that you don't enjoy my content anymore. So without further ado, I'm going to do a quick rundown of all of Cyrus's skills. Alright, so Cyrus's active skill, 1400 direct damage factor to one target, and causes them to take 20% increased additional damage for 3 seconds. I love the active skill. Keep in mind though, additional damage is not normal direct damage factor. So let's say Boudicca's active skill, see how she only deals direct damage factor. Cyrus does not boost that. So keep that in mind when you're investing in him. Doesn't boost YSG's damage, doesn't boost Henry's damage. But a commander like Ramsey's where their active skill actually states they deal 1000 additional damage per second, that is affected by Cyrus's debuff. I really do like that. I like that. It's a bit of utility that he brings to the murder ball. Second skill, you get some attack and march speed. I love the march speed. The attack's fine. The march speed's really good though. You can put him behind any commander, even if they're quite slow, and he will make them a bit more viable. Third skill, 10% chance to deal additional damage over time for three seconds to one target. And then that target also deals 40% reduced skill damage, which is kind of insane. And I think that's very powerful. I actually really do like this. I think this skill damage reduction is great. I had it trigger once when I was using Henry. And I was fighting a Nevsky Joan. And Henry's active skill triggered. So I got 30% reduced skill damage taken. And then Cyrus's skill triggered. So I ended up with like 70% reduced skill damage. And I was basically taking no damage. It was kind of insane. Third skill. Another skill I really like. 300 damage factor to 3 targets if you're getting hit. So 10% chance of getting hit to deal 600 damage factor to three targets, 1,800 revenge damage basically is insane. That's way, way more than Henry's 800. It's more than Thupmos, who has like 700, I think, 700. It's more than, almost, I think it's actually the most revenge damage in the game, actually. Just that revenge is insane. If you deal that damage factor to three targets, it's crazy. If they're already affected by Cyrus's active skill, they take even more damage. So you're looking at an absolute boatload of additional damage factor here. If you put all his skills together, including his active skill, and the opponent's affected by the debuff and you get super lucky, you're looking at 4,200 damage factor, or 4,220 exactly, in three turns, which is just insane. Then his expertise, he has increased defense and attack of 20%. For three seconds and every second for that three seconds he gains 50 rage i really like this it makes him a rage engine debuffing high damage commander and gives him a bit of tankiness with that defense now when we speak about cyrus when we're looking in skills you should get as a free to play even though i do recommend fully maxing him if you want to use him if you want to make him very field worthy but you don't want to max him for some reason five 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 one is fine you will be only dealing 900 additional damage factor instead of 1,800 if you're getting swarmed. But, I mean, you're still benefiting from his active skill. You're getting the march speed and the attack. And of course, you're getting the reduced skill damage that the opponent deals, which is great. But I think this expertise is actually so good, it's probably worth the gold heads. So if you're going for Cyrus, I say just go all in. But he's definitely field worthy at like 5551. Five, even possibly 5511, but I don't really like that in my opinion. So if you're free to play, I would look into something like that. Now, the talent trees for Cyrus the Great are quite easy because it's really just this talent tree right here is the only one I would recommend. Max Feral Nature, so go all in on the skill tree and max Latent Power. Latent Power is additional skill damage and Cyrus has a crap load of that. So Feral Nature, Latent Power are a must. And then I go Phoenix Tail Arrows just because I do think Cyrus benefits from even more additional skill damage. So I like that. But you could consider Venomous Sting just because this, I think it's 8% skill damage for secondary commanders and primary commanders. 
is pretty good, but I still prefer the Phoenix Tail Arrows. I would say if you somehow had more skill points, or if you didn't go for latent power, you could consider Razor Sharp, but I don't think it's worth that extra 4, 4 skill points. I think there's better options in the Archer and skill trees. Now, Commander Pairing Osiris, there are like 4 or 5 I could recommend. So the best one is Boudic Osiris, the pair I've used. I think this is amazing. I think Boudic is tanky. She's got debuffs as well. So I think they pair quite well. She's even got more march speed. And she's got that taken skill damage taken reduction. So she's tanky there. That's why I do like her. I like her for that Boudicca Cyrus pair mainly. And I think that's a very good pair to hide your Cyrus behind as well. Since he seems to be a high priority. Because of his debuff. And how he just so much instant proc damage factor. It's kind of crazy. So Boudicca Cyrus is the best pair. Not far behind though. I say Henry and Cyrus is pretty good. Henry's tanky. He's got March speed off territory as well, and he takes skill damage reduction. He's also got direct damage factor, obviously, and all damage. And then he gets even more tanky when you max him. So he's a very tanky commander, which I think Cyrus does need, since Cyrus is not so tanky, and he's quite a squishy commander. But that being said, I still think Boudicca Cyrus is probably a better commander. Also, both Henry and Boudicca do benefit from Cyrus being a rage engine. Now, the other pair I recommend for Cyrus is... Little bit suboptimal, it's definitely a knock below Boudicca and Henry, and that would be Ramsey's secondary to Cyrus because Cyrus throws his active skill, makes the opponent take more additional skill damage, and then Ramsey's has that additional skill damage on his active skill, and they do synergize, synergize quite well in that matter. Ramsey's is also fairly tanky with some skill damage reduction, he's got march speed, and also he has a defense bonus. So I do like that pair somewhat, but it's definitely not one of the best pairs for Cyrus. Then another commander pairing that's definitely a knock below the Ramses and way, way worse than the Boudicca and, Cy Boudicca and Henry pairs is Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh has a bunch of debuffs. He's pretty tanky and he needs March speed plus a rage engine. That's why I think that Cyrus could work with him all right. But most people hit Gilgamesh quite quickly because they find that he can be quite squishy to cavalry units. Also, I think Gilgamesh is better with a few other commanders, like, for example, I think Nebu Gilgamesh is actually better, but if you want somewhere to maybe get your Cyrus a little bit more of a tanky spot, and you've already got, like, a Boudicca Artemisia and a Henry YSG, then I'd say Gilgamesh would probably bring you a little bit more value if you already have him max than Ramses, but Ramses Cyrus is still a better pair. Another pair people have recommended that I personally don't like is Nebuchadnezzar and Cyrus. Cyrus has to be the secondary here. Just because I think that the conquering tree, the counter attack is quite important. Now, the only reason you could consider Cyrus primary is for the additional damage on this 500 damage factor. But I don't think it's worth putting your Cyrus as the main emblem. And also, I don't think it's worth losing that counter attack on the conquering tree. Nebu's got march speed and defense and a bit of rage reduction. And he's got the AoE. That's the only reason people still use him nowadays. But I think his stats are kind of low compared to other options. He's got the damage, I guess, that's okay. And he doesn't really have any additional damage factor unless you max him. That's why I prefer other options. But I can say that Nebu Cyrus actually kind of wrecks in the Ancient Ruins just because they're so fast. Like you hit someone, you click, you're gone. That's it. Done. 30% Archer March Speed is a bit ridiculous. So if you're doing Ruins, I actually still use Nebu and Cyrus for Ruins just because of the March speed. Then again, I think Henry and Cyrus is now probably a better pair for Ruins, because Henry has more March speed off territory than Nebuchadnezzar does. Accessories for Cyrus are quite simple, usually the same as every other commander, so Ring and Horn is the best pairing, but if you don't want to go for another Ring of Doom, I think he needs the Horn, but if you don't want another Ring of Doom, I, th I say Concealed Dagger's fine and Mora's Web are quite good. People say Pendant of the Eternal Knight's a good one, but I'm going to say don't do it. Just because 160 materials for 5% skill damage is not worth it. You're going to get better trades from something such as a, a Ring or a Concealed Dagger. And even Mora's Web is probably going to benefit you more than a Pendant of the Eternal Knight. So if I had to say the two best would be Ring and Horn. However, if you had to pick another accessory besides Ring then I would say dagger or web, depending on what you want more. I think him reducing march speed to cavalry is definitely feasible because Cyrus 
is actually kind of quick. So if you need to, for some reason, chase down a Nevsky, Mora's Web is going to help you quite a bit. Now, the best ways to get Sarah sculptures, there's about three, four main ways. First one is, of course, through the legendary chests. You can see Cyrus the Great is available in here. So if you've gotten a seasonal conquest and you're opening 2,000 a day and you're some super mega whale, then you can max Cyrus in about a week for about $40,000. That's literally the cost. But hey, I'm, I'm not a financial advisor and I don't know. Up to you. Next on the list that you could get Cyrus from is Heart's Desire, of course. It's not in here currently. It's a KVK event. It's more free to play oriented for your legendary keys than other events such as the actual legendary tavern. And then the final way, to my knowledge at the moment, to get Cyrus sculptures is through the Wheel of Fortune. Also no Wheel of Fortune in my kingdom at the moment. But once the Archer, Archer cycle comes around, he will be there every Tuesday. So keep that in mind if you want to unlock Cyrus in a fairly reasonable way. Another option that currently isn't out yet, but I think is the next commander pairing to be added to the daily special offer, is actually going to be, yeah, it's going to be as Nebu and Cyrus should be the next commanders here. So if you're watching this video after, there is a chance that Nebu and Cyrus are available from daily special offer. And I think he's a good pickup in that situation. Just because, I mean, if you're whaling, he's a really good commander. Now, what is my final verdict on Cyrus? If you're a free-to-play player and you're not an Archer main, then you may consider investing in someone else. But if you're an Archer main player and you need a second or third march, I say don't actually go for Artemisia. Yes, she's really good with Boudicca. Yes, she's a powerful commander for now, but she has no debuff. She damages herself. She makes the opponent deal more skill damage, and she's just a damage commander. She has nothing else going for her. Damage is all Artemisia has. Cyrus has debuffs. So he has longevity, he's a rage engine, he has good amounts of stats, however they're not health, he's even got march speed. I think Cyrus is honestly a good third or fourth archer commander investment, for now. We have new commanders coming that may change. But I think Cyrus is really good in that regard. And if you're considering investing in Cyrus and you're curious about any other commanders I spoke about today, especially Ramses, then I've got guides for all those commanders, alright? So. If you're interested in investing in Cyrus and you want to look into some other commanders, I've got guides for Ramses, Tamaris, Edward of Woodstock, Artemisia, El Cid, and Thutmose. So if you're interested, on the end screen of this video, there, are going to, there is going to be a playlist with every single commander guide I've done so far. And if you want to support the channel, it's the best way, is just checking out another video. So I thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next one.